Hello, we're Shouse, and this is our most requested live Ask Anything chat. Thanks to Romeo for having us on the show tonight. Our current track is called Love Tonight. Love Tonight, all I need. Anyway. Woo! Woo. Um, Brittany from Jersey City. Shouts, roll call, name, where you were born, and what high school did you go to? Uh, my name's Jack. Um, I was born in Carlton, in Melbourne, in Australia, in Victoria, in Australia. Um, and, I mean, it's kind of personal. But, no, I guess not. My high school was Cadinia International College, Ooh. which is in Geelong. So I moved to Geelong after Melbourne, and then I moved back to Melbourne. Uh, my name is Ed Service. I was born in Upper Hutt, New Zealand, Aotearoa. And the high school I went to was St. Patrick's College, Silverstream. Catholic old boy school. Whoa. Uh, did you like it? Uh, no. Oh, me neither. <laughs> um, Jennifer from Miami. Favourite Halloween candy and best costume you've ever worn. Believe it or not, Halloween is not huge in New Zealand and Australia, but it's getting bigger and bigger as we consume American culture. Yes. Um, and my favourite candy. Um, I always love the little Snickers bars, to be honest, and I know it's not a typical candy, but I just love that peanut and chocolate. They're good. I really like a um, a Swedish chocolate bar called Dime. Oh, Dime. D A I M. Beautiful. And that's my favorite, like candy chocolate bar type thing. I reckon. And I do think so. I lived in Sweden for a year when I was mm. seventeen, and I do think we did Halloween. Um, but in Australia, yeah, not so many times. My my best costume, uh, yeah, there is none. Sorry. Sorry. Me Sorry. Neither. Yeah. Uh, maybe this year. Uh, Jessica from Charlotte. How did you guys meet? Well, we met in Melbourne. In a uh, nightclub. In a nightclub. On the dance floor. On the dance floor. And we met each other. We saw each other. We vaguely knew each other from music type things. I was in mm. a band. Ed was in a band. And we met... We chatted. We danced. We danced we talked and all talked night all night long. long. It was a lovely night. And we decided to make some music together. So we went to Ed's studio. And so we made music. And actually the first song we ever kind of jammed on or did together was Love Tonight. Uh, hmm. And then through doing lots of music, lots of different songs, and over time, we became very good friends. And here we are. Here we are. In Ibiza. Um, Serena from Key West. If the answer on Jeopardy was Shouse, what was the question? What is the worst band name? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I'll take yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nancy from Buffalo. I read the definition of what a Shouse is. Did you base your name on that or did you just think it was a cool word? Uh, well... Um, um, I don't know what your definition you read is. There's a few out there. Uh, there is a tiny house thing, I yeah, think, in America. but a that, shed house? Shed house, but it shed doesn't house? relate exactly that's not, that, to that's what that's house okay. Look up the Australian euphemism mm. and look into it, and then you might get a better idea of why we named it that way. It's a bit of an in-joke. Yes. Um, not sure if we can I don't think swear. we can swear Maybe. online here. But it's... Yes. House. House. Um, yeah, it's not a cool word. No, we don't think it's a cool word. No. <laughs> we think it's a terrible word. It's a terrible word. Yeah. It's our word. And it was a gag more than anything joke. at yeah. the time when we started because we were making uh, not very great house music. We are making S house music. S house music. Yeah. Um, and now we're stuck with it. Yeah. <laughs> Wendy from Royal Oak. If you were on the mask, mask Singer... What costume would you wear and what song would you sing? Well, I actually did a version of The Masked oh, Singer uh, in Melbourne. Um, I reckon it was New Year's Eve from New Year's Eve 2020. Um, and there was a, a funny gig put on by some people, Vaughan. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't think you were there. But uh, I actually did dress up. Um, it was called The Masked Hinger. Um, <laughs> Australians might get that reference. And the 
the uh, costume that I got was a bear costume. So I was dressed up as a bear and I sung Wicked Games mm. by Chris Isaac. Chin. Oh, wait, that's the wrong song. What a um, wicked game. What a wicked play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Uh, but actually, the most memorable thing that happened on that night was that while I was on stage dressed as a bear singing Wicked Games, um, somebody stole my pants. Oh, the pants. From the, and I will, yeah, yeah, I will yeah. never get over it because they were the best pants I'd ever owned. Nelly and someone stole them from the, the, like, the little side green room. And Same. so then the whole night after I got out of the bear costume, I had to wear, um, someone else was dressed up as Yoda. And so I had to wear the Yoda pants all night, which was actually quite good because they were quite breezy and it was quite hot. Um, but the pants will always be the lost pants. He talks pants. about them a lot. Yeah, I've talked about them. <laughs> uh, and, and did you have a oh, I think we've answered that question. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, April from Tampa. How did Love Tonight get revived in 2021? Well, it's a bit of a mystery. It's yeah, a long story. we've been asking the question a lot. Um, we got it was actually 2020 when it really started kicking off, and then really started launching in 2021. We like to think that perhaps something about the pandemic and the conditions of the pandemic and the lockdown and the release meant that the messages in the song finally started to resonate with people. As you may or may not know, it's a song we wrote and we recorded and released in 2017. Um, and maybe the song was a bit too cheesy for its time, but uh, the time has come. Thank you. And 2021 is the time, and uh, we're very grateful. So I guess just the historical moment arrived. The song for the moment. The song for the moment. And the moment was waiting. So finally the song came on. And you revived it. Yes, yeah, so thank you. Yeah. Thank uh, you. April. And April. Yeah, and everyone else. In Tampa, Florida. Monica from Toronto. What was it like growing up in Australia and New Zealand? Well, in New Zealand, it was very chilled out, relaxed, very green and open and fun. It's kind of what all the cliches are, you say. Um, my house, my parents' house was on the bush. And as I said in the previous question, we ran around the bush, building forts, having fun, playing, access to nature and rivers, and parks and lakes and things like that. It was a beautiful growing up. Although I would have gone to a different school if I could have. Uh Growing up in Australia was similarly kind of laid back. Um, we moved to a town called Geelong and it was, yeah, just sort of like a big, big-ish suburban kind of town and we would play on the street, like play cricket on the street and um, everyone was yes. sort of generally just sort of driving around and I don't know. It's a weird question. It's hard to answer. Are right up in it's hard. It's hard because you don't have much of a. a you, uh, you can't contrast it. Yeah, it was nice. It, it was, was nice. normal. Yeah. Thanks to most requested live and Romeo for having us on the show tonight. Our current song is called "Love Tonight." We'll see you out on the road. Woo! Bye. <laughs>